Good morning, everyone. This is Someone Unexpected, presenting a new episode of Tech Newsology. Let us begin. Recently, a psychological study was conducted at a speed dating event in order to assess the effect of gender role on choosiness in mate selection. Unlike typical speed dating events, in which the female stays put while the men rotate from partner to partner, in this event, gender roles were reversed so that the men stayed put while the women rotated. After surveying the women after the event, it was found that the women who were required to approach men as prospective mates were far less choosy than those who are approached at speed dating events. One of the main conclusions from this research is that the very act of physically approaching someone increases one's desire for that person, regardless of gender. One potentially useful application for this research is in designing social events that increase the propensity for wild copulation among its participants. Japanese researchers have recently found a new way to transmit captured light energy from a bacterial photosystem 1 onto a gold electrode. The technique uses vitamin K1 to act as a plug into the biological system that fits analogously to a plug into an outlet. When light hits the chlorophyll, the electrons travel from the chlorophyll to the vitamin K1 and are then conducted through a molecular wire to a viologen group which anchors the assembly to a gold electrode. The researchers found that the electrons were conducted very efficiently by the molecular wire. Because all the parts in the system fit perfectly with each other, the researchers were able to harness light energy as efficiently as photosynthetic organisms do by using this technique. This discovery not only provides a huge leap for creating ubiquitous cheap solar power, but also provides a new paradigm for designing and integrating molecular systems. A group of researchers from the University of Granada have produced a software program that uses music theory and artificial intelligence techniques to create original music in response to emotions that arise in the listener, called an Intelligent Multi-Agent Music System, or in Mamouzis. In Mamouzis is designed for the purpose of composing and playing endless, non-repetitive music that is original and ensured the correct degree of emotion in real time. This program is intended to replace repetitive canned music that is played in public places, such as elevators and lobbies, but also may be downloaded onto portable music players in the near future. My question for you today is this. When computers are advanced enough to emulate or supersede human musicians, especially the untalented ones, how do you think that will change the music industry? Thank you for listening.